Hello, we are the cabins. My name is Todd and I sing the songs. I'm Elliot, lead guitarist. I'm Freddie, I'm the bassist. I am Felix, I play the drums. And today we are going to be answering some of your questions that you have asked us via Instagram and other social medias. Yeah. Let's go. What made you all decide to become a band? Uh, so it started off in uh, uni a couple of years ago with me and Todd just playing music together and it pretty much progressed from there. Eventually got Freddie and Felix in the band. We've been doing music together since we were little ones. So yeah, pretty much started from there. How did you all meet? Um, well, I can only speak for myself and Elliot. We met at school. It was primary school for a year, secondary school for all the years and then uni, three years of uni. Um, and then Fred and Elliot. Me and Freddie are cousins. We've known each other all our lives. Uh, and then me and Fee uh, met through like House Musical. Yeah. Uh, Felix was leading and I was, uh, I was a little and I was probably about 12 and he was just leading it really. And it all spurted from there. Yeah. Funniest band member. Felix, because of his private story on Instagram, you'll never find it, but it's amazing. It's very, very, very it is good. Humorous. It's very good. Best gig so far? Gloucester Guildhall. Gloucester Guildhall. Wimple Cigarette Bricks. Social Club, Laurie Wright, and The Love Breakers. That was a fun one. What's Smoke Room about? That's Elliot's question. It's a song I wrote about going to a nightclub and uh, basically being one of the only people that smokes and being left in the corner when all your mates go in when it's too cold and then seeing a female. Yeah. Write a love song. <laughs> sort of already have. Yeah. We've got a song called Who Am I To Dream, which will be out at some point. You can hear it if you attend our gigs and I'd say that's probably our love Check the tour song. dates. Yes. But I'd say that's probably our loveliest song to date. So that's, I'd count it. Most favourite song of your own? Most favourite song. Should we go one, one by one? Um, oh, I need some, uh, to be fair, Who Am I To Dream is probably my favourite at the moment. I would say Smoke Room and Who Am I To Dream. I think Smoke Room brings the energy and kind of brings a nice close to the night. Um, I guess either Who Am I To Dream, because it means quite a lot to all of us, and You Better Run, because it gets people moving. Uh, I like You Better Run. I, I think it's got loads and loads of energy in it, and I think I think the people like it too. How much does Todd eat? <laughs> a lot. So much, the fact that he misses rehearsal because of it. Nothing on me, though. I've never thought I ate that much until I met these three young gentlemen, but I do eat a, a substantial amount for a man my size. Which, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, is five foot eight. Uh, right, cheers. A That's day. a bit mean. That's why he's the funniest <laughs> Freddy, however, eats the quickest out of anyone I've ever met yeah, in my actually, life. Yeah. Do you have anything to say for yourself? <laughs> Food. <laughs> Tasty. Do you live in a cabin? Yes. We, in fact, do. It is big and has windows. It's really warm. Why is the band called The Cabins? Um, myself and a childhood friend of mine, um, still very good friends, family friends. Um, we used to sleep in a cabin in the garden when we'd stay at each other's houses and he played the drums, I played the guitar and we always used to say, wouldn't it be fun to have a band called The Cabins? He's not in the band, um, but yeah, that's why it's called The Cabins. And it's spelt with a K. Nice guy. Lovely guy. Lovely. Owen Anderson. Little shout out. And um, yeah, it's spelt with a K because it looks cooler than a C. Have you got a YouTube channel? Uh, so we, we do have a YouTube channel, but we don't have anything posted on it. We just have... Felix, what's the name? Oh, uh, so someone we know runs a channel called like Ultimate Emerging Artists or something like yeah. that. It's something along the lines of that. That um, but yeah, that's got loads of our live videos, but we're we're planning to do something cool with YouTube this year, hopefully at some big point. Big stuff coming. Big big stuff. No band coming. has ever said that before. <laughs> Meal deal options. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Tesco's obviously Tesco's first because Tesco's do the best meal deals, 
and they do them at a very, very good price, well, especially that. if you have a club card. Um, although it has increased recently, hasn't it, Todd? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I want a wrap. I don't want a sandwich on a wrap. Wraps are better than sandwiches because you can cram in. You can cram in more nutrition. The drink, of course, has to be um, a Pepsi um, or a Coke. For for the snack, for the snack, um, uh, an eat natural cranberry and dark chocolate bar. Yeah, very good for the palate but still tastes nice and you get that signature chocolate crunch. Uh, so, sandwich, I feel like there's, there is a right answer to this question and to me it's a good old chicken bacon sandwich. Uh, snack, you got to go easy, chocolate bar, packet crisps, go for a picnic, right, advice for everyone out there. For a drink, you have to go for a Fanta fruit twist. For me, it's chicken bacon stuffing, brilliant sandwich, Br brilliant sarni, Sainsbury's one, uh, a Ribena and some... Walker's Baked, cheese and onion, thank you. I'm not a million miles off that. I'm Tesco as well. Chicken bacon stuff in sandwich. Um, I, like a, a, I like the big barbecue beef hula hoops. And uh, yeah, good, isn't it? You wish you thought of that. And um, I do love Ribena as well, but I like the, the little berry shakes that you get with it because they're normally like two pound on their own. So to get it in a three pound meal deal feels like a win biggest influences um mine's always been the beatles um but more recently uh the strokes i'd say have had quite a quite an impact uh, it's milburn for me one of the my favorite influences hangman stone my dad's band i like radiohead <sighs> and i like being happy <laughs> <laughs> what do you sound most like? Uh, our mate Davlos, good friend of ours, uh, has explained us as uh, we, we draw inspiration from Fratelli's Arctic Monkeys and Oasis, creating a unique and exciting sound as if the Stone Roses and the Libertines had an only child and a messy divorce overseen by the Strokes. So that's what we sound like. Yay. Thank you, Davlos. Best memory? Camping after recording. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> That was fun. <laughs> we did it. Um, we did it. It was fun. It we was did. We recorded the EP and it was a load of fun. We went camping after. Had a few drinky poos with the man Dem. Played Tos little acoustic guitar. Sang some songs. It was a beautiful night. It was beautiful night. Anyone else's nightmare. What's your writing process? Um, it's all done quite quickly, actually. Normally, we're very efficient, aren't we? Well, yeah. At least for the last like five or six songs, it's been Elliot's come up with a riff or a chord progression and him and Fred have worked on something together. Elliot will send it over to me. I'll spend an evening writing some lyrics. I'll bring it back to them the next day. And we rehearse it and it sounds wicked. Romeo, Yay! done. I think you've forgotten a step. Felix plays the drums. Yeah. Show us your gear. We don't have our gear, it's at where we rehearse, but me and him both go through uh, Epiphone Les Pauls into some Marshalls, Marshall amps. It's the only combination that I think works for us as a band. It's a lot of distortion, lo a lot going on. It sounds best for us. Um, I'm on an Ashdown amp, uh, Ashdown bass amp, and I have a Jet Black Squire jazz bass. It is sexual. It's the best thing to use. It creates amazing sound. I use um, Pearl Export tubs with Evans heads and pasty PST5 cymbals and Tama Iron Cobra hardware. When's your next song coming out? Oh, oh, leave me alone! February! Valentine's Day, 2023! Yes! Uh, so that's the 14th of February, Valentine's Day. Yeah! What show are you most excited about for tour? Ooh. Ooh, should we go one by one again? Yeah, go one by one. Yeah. Uh, probably Frog and Fiddle, actually, in Cheltenham, which is, as of recording, it's next Friday. I'm not sure when this comes out, but it's Friday the 27th of January. And I'm really looking forward to that because that should be a good, busy, busy night. And we've played there before, fun. haven't we? And it went really well. Yeah. Uh, for me, it is, it's in between Frog and Fiddle and the one in Birmingham because... Obviously, the Siggy boys, they, they have a big crowd there. We, we have a few going about. It's, it's going to be a fat one. Both of them are going to be mental. I can't wait for it. Autry St. Mary. King yeah! of clubs. Everyone get down. Go oh, and grow. It's right. 
Get your tickets. It's going to be mental. It's going to be packed out. It's going to be fucking You wicked. sound like Bob Geldof during the Live Aid thing. Yeah. <laughs> <That's your boy. laughs> um, I want to do Glasgow. I think that's yeah. cool. Yeah. Um, that's, that, is, that is going to be a cool show <laughs> because we are doing Glasgow. I, don't think, I don't think I've ever been that far up north. <laughs> is that a northern accent? <laughs> <laughs> We're excited for every single one. We are very happy. Look at the dates. Look We're at the, the tour. cabins. Look where we are. Come. See you, <laughs> Please. Who is Davlos? Davlos! Davlos! He is an idea. He's our miracle man. He, he is more than an idea. He is a movement. He's like, he'd be a fantastic candle. <laughs> <laughs> he is a scent. He's basically one of our promoters that ended up being a really good mate, a family friend. He's just done a lot for us in the past before we signed with Siggy. He's a big part of why we're here today. Yeah. yeah. The most vital part as of Today. this moment why we're got us our first gig absolutely yeah. he smashed it us. so Davlos we love you shout out to Super shout Mercados out. shout out to Super Mercados is Todd single he's married to the money <laughs> I'm married to the music yes I am single <laughs> is it true that Felix doesn't wear socks yeah <laughs> what <laughs> But he wears I've a got thousand socks on layers at any one time. That's a tattoo. He's got four layers on beneath that jumper. Who's your biggest fan? Trees of plants. My mother. What's the best filling for a pie? Cream. Leek and potato. Such a Peak S- and potato. Steak and ale. <laughs> That's a serious answer. Who's the fruitiest member? Um, I think I think what we should do is we should count down and then all say who we think the fruitiest member is at once. Great idea. Three, two, one. Todd. Oh, that's two for me, two for you. Yeah, I say yeah. Okay, okay. It's a uh, it's time. Fruity lad. If you could support any band, who would it be? Uh, mine wouldn't be a band, but I'd love to support Miles Kane one day. I think he's a cool, cool man with cool, cool music. Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously, Last Shadow Puppets, if we're going that route, mine would be Alex Turner, Arctic Monkeys sort of stuff, and obviously the dream would be Liam Gallagher, Oasis, if they ever get back together. Fred Felix? The Lathams. The Lathams, the Lathams, the Lathams. I love the Lathams. We all love the Lathams. They We've are seen them. E- pricks. We, they're excellent. We love them. Um, I would like to support Black Midi because they are cool and I like the sounds that they make. Who is Siggy? Uh, Siggy, Siggy uh, is short for Cigarette Social Club, which is a band that kind of spotted us when we were playing in Cheltenham, and they've kind of branched out to be more than a band. They're kind of running a label now, um, which is called Siggy Sounds. Follow them on Instagram, um, and they're kind of our management label kind of thing, and uh, it's run by the beautiful Harry Bot, who is frontman for Siggy Social and um, very, very good professional manager. Big up all the Siggy boys. Up, uh, see you in tour. What is the next step for the cabins? Uh, Todd, you know this one. Um, well, we've got our tour over the next couple months, uh, January, February, March. Uh, and then from there, I mean, me and Elliot will be at the end of uni pretty much by then. So we'll be in the working world. Um, old men. We'll be old men. Um, these two have got the luxury of still being kids, so they're fine. Um, but yeah, just take it as it comes a lot's happened in the last year hopefully a lot will happen in the next year and who knows what will happen in the year after that but we're very excited and we hope that you're we're ready we hope you're ready excited viva the cabins as as us we we've, we've been, been the, the cabins. cabins thank you for watching our q a video get we'll your tour tickets we'll see you on tour get down let's fucking have as always viva the cabins viva the cabins, viva la cabins.